controversial businessman Kutakwish Tagwere has worn his heart on his sleeves, slagging off President Emerson Angagwe for alleged lack of political strategy in appointing ministers to his cabinet. A media-shy character who speaks less, if any of his views through the press, Tagwere revealed his thoughts in oblique sound clip audio listen below with Norton legislator Temba Maliswa. The filthy rich oil dealer believed to have amassed his wealth through close association with Zimbabwe's ruling elite, has often been accused of capturing the state. He has not publicly commented on the accusations. But it took a leaked audio for the mogul to reveal his thoughts, issuing a contemptuous estimation of the national leader for poor choices to ministerial positions. Nangagwa recently appointed former Zimbabwe Agricultural Society Chief Executive Officer Dr. Anshis Masuka as the Minister of Lands, Agriculture, Water and Rural Resettlement and Muzarabani Legislator Soda Jemu as Minister of Energy and Power Development. He President Nangagwa tells me about Masuka a week before the appointment, but I tell him that Lands Ministry requires a political appointment. It can make you win or lose an election. Masuka cannot campaign on your behalf. I thought Heratados was a better candidate as Minister of Lands, Tagware says. The president went on to appoint other candidates different from Tagware's wish. Equally, Meliswa, who has often defended Nangagwa in public, sensationally claimed that Zimbabwe No. 1 was stubborn and did not listen to anyone when making key administrative decisions such as appointments or dismissals on cabinet ministers. Meliswa said Nangagwa was different from his predecessor Robert Mugabe who only appointed close associates and party stalwarts to key positions. The problem with my brother is that he doesn't listen to anyone and doesn't consult anyone before making his decisions. He ends up appointing unknown people who do not bring any value, said Meliswa. The former ZANU-PF Michonne Land West Chair considers Nangagwa brother as they share the same Shamba totem according to African tradition. That is where they are different from Mugabe, who would only appoint people he knew very well and were ready to work for the party. Now he ends up appointing Soda Jemu as Minister of Energy, just because he has a Master of Administration degree and has worked for Kotko. It doesn't mean anything. This is a critical ministry which runs, moves the economy, and it requires serious people and not this guy who didn't contribute anything in parliament.